so what gender dysphoria means is it's a feeling of discomfort, dissatisfaction, distress related to your gender, whether that is your gender identity as you express it in public, it may be your physical body, and it may be any other aspects of your gender. So some things you might notice is if there's aspects of your body that you feel extremely uncomfortable with, whether that's having other people touch them, having people look at them, or sometimes even looking at them or relating to them yourself. For instance, if you were assigned female at birth and you're trans or have gender dysphoria, you might be uncomfortable with breasts. And so you might not want to look at them when you're changing clothes. You might feel really pulled to bind them or cover them up so that it's not something that other people notice that's a part of you. And that can be similar with other body parts, but they're usually body parts that specifically signal gender. So often it's breast, genitalia, things like that. As I mentioned, it can also come up just in terms of other people labeling you based on the gender that either you've been assigned at birth or they presume you to be. So for instance, again, if I'm assigned female at birth, but I don't identify as female and people are using the name I was assigned at birth, which sounds really feminine or using she, her pronouns for me. And I keep noticing an uncomfortable feeling or that that doesn't feel like me, or that I notice a sense of resistance, then those all might be indicators of gender dysphoria. A lot of us live a long time dealing with that and kind of pushing it down before we're in a place that we're able to deal with it and address it. I think one of the good news down the road is that as people come to live in their more authentic gender, they also talk about gender euphoria, which is a really positive feeling of being in line with your authentic gender. Thank you.